Right, those who have been following our various adventures in Malaysia uh, will probably have heard us talk about our next documentary, Following in the Footsteps of Isabella Bird. And you will probably know by now, if you uh, have also been looking at our uh, Malaysian Travels site in the uh, Facebook page, um, that unfortunately, not only have we postponed shooting it, but we may well have abandoned shooting it now because uh, we simply can't travel around Malaysia. The uh, virus, I'm afraid, has beaten us. And since we postponed it from last year and have hung around for an extra 12 months, hoping that we can f do it, um, our time has run out. And in September, we are going to move to the UK. And we haven't lived there for 30 odd years, so um, that's going to be a bit of an adventure for us. And we will no doubt uh, try to do some uh, interesting travelogues uh, when we uh, of us settling back into, well, I don't know what sort of life. It's going to be a bit of a mystery to us. But in the meantime, what I have done, I have taken our script for the Isabella Bird documentary, and I have turned it into a, a series of blogs, complete with illustrations. Some of them are actually drawn by myself and my wife, which may or may not be a good thing, but hell, we've got nothing better to do with our time. Uh, so it's somewhat different reading um, these things, uh, different from viewing it. Uh, I did think about presenting them and uh, uh, enthusiastically reading them out to you, but I thought that would be extremely boring. In fact, I see other people doing those sort of blogs and I think, hmm, well, I'd, I'd rather read it than listen to them screaming at me. Uh, so I thought what I would do instead would be give a little introductory piece uh, and then refer to uh, lawrencegray.not slash, I think it will be Isabella Bird. Well, I, I'll leave the proper link down below for you to uh, uh, click on and then go to the website. And please do so because, you know, uh, and click on those adverts. Oh, I shouldn't say that. You're not supposed to say that. Say that. But that, there may be some money that we could glean from it, but uh, probably not. Uh, anyway. Go and have a look, see what uh, we write about, because I, 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 there's a tremendous amount of history all about uh, the Selangor War and the Parak Wars and the Songhai Ujong campaign. It's battles and fighting. It's all exciting stuff. Um, but mostly uh, we'd like to talk about the rather, well, crazed British imperialists. And uh, I do ask this question quite a few times is who the hell benefits from this? How did the British take over and why? Because they were dropping dead in droves. Um, talk about a white man's graveyard. And they didn't really make that much money out of it. Uh, the people who made money out of it were the sultans and the uh, Chinese. Uh, practically everybody made some money out of it, but uh, the Brits that were involved um, uh, tended, to, tended to get an early grave. Anyway, uh, go and have a look. It's uh, It's fascinating and extremely complicated stories that uh, we're trying to tell in a very simplistic fashion. Uh, it's unfortunate that you won't be able to see us riding elephants and going snipe hunting and going up uh, crocodile infested rivers uh, just like Isabella Bird did. Um, but, um, you know, I guess, I don't know, perhaps perhaps it would have been totally disastrous and we would have all been eaten by crocodiles or, or attacked by the few tigers that still lurk in the jungles around here. Anyway, uh, it's it, another thing that, you know, it's very different um, making a documentary from just writing a history. So I, I did think about writing this whole thing up as a big awkward. I thought, oh God, it's a history book. I've got to give all the references. I've got to make sure that everything that I uh, I, I refer to is actually 100% accurate, as opposed to going out into the field and going to the local museums and going to the local historians and get them to make their statements uh, to me and, and uh, commit to uh, ideas that perhaps um, uh, others may argue with. Let them argue with those people, you know, there's always new things to discover anyway. A documentary is always about the discovery of it. And uh, rather than simply giving you uh, the fi final word, 
and as soon as I start writing these things down, I, I think I, I'm committed to certain ideas and certain uh, um, attitudes uh, towards the subject matter, um, which anyway, I, you can read this up. So take a look and um, we'll see you on the next blog about, or is it the next vlog about the blog? So these are vlog blogs. Or do they become a blog vlog? I'm not quite sure, whichever way. But anyway, subscribe and uh, and please um, uh, hit the notification bell because whenever I put this up, then it uh, sends you a little reminder. And I'm sure you want to be, you really want to be reminded that there's another one coming along. They're going to come along pretty fa thick and fast because uh, I've written most of these things and we've uh, got most of the pi pictures uh, put in place. So uh, I'm going to be putting them up um, one every couple of days or every three days or or perhaps even quicker depending on how I uh, well how I feel at the time right so don't forget look at uh, click on the link below uh, go to the uh, actual blog page and um, I'll see you on the next uh, uh, video oh.